Hey everyone, today I'm going to review the Pablo PR100 stand. This is made for laptops and tablets. So this is how it looks. Now this is actually quite versatile. I'm using this as an easel as well. So here you can see I have a sketchbook on another stand. This is so good I bought it too. So you can use this as an easel, put your sketchbook on it, or you can put your watercolor pad on it. This is a 9 by 12 inch watercolor pad. And of course, you can put your tablets on it. This is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. You can also put a 15.6 inch laptop on this. This is US $40, which I think it's quite pricey compared to other laptop and tablet stands, but this is very well built. So let's take a look at the back here. You can see the support. This is actually adjustable, so you can release this latch here and deploy the stand at various angles. You can even have the stand almost vertical. And it can lock into position uh, very easily just by locking the latch here. It's very easy to deploy, very easy to use. On the back here, this is rubber. And here at the bottom, it's also rubber. This whole piece here is rubber and yeah. Basically, it's going to get you really good grip on the table. At the bottom here, there is this uh, protruding part, which is made of rubber as well. This is going to hold your tablet or your sketchbook. And because this is rubber here and here, it also prevents the tablet or laptop from moving around. So this whole thing, it's very well designed. When I am not drawing, I would use this then to prop up my tablet. I don't actually draw on my tablet using this then because when it's down like this and when I'm drawing, I will be hunched over. So that's not good for my posture. So when I'm drawing with a tablet, I would actually prefer to use this stand which makes um, the tablet higher and closer to me. So this is more comfortable when it comes to drawing for long periods of time compared to this. When I'm drawing or sketching, I won't be able to use the higher or taller stand of course because there is no proper backing. Here I have good backing. So let me show you the different sizes of sketchbooks and paper pads you can use with this stand. This is an A5 size sketchbook and it fits the stand perfectly. So if the pages are coming forward like this, you can use a clip to clip the pages. And because this stand is not that thick, you can clip your paper to the stand very easily. Let me show you another sketchbook. This one here is much smaller. You can place it at the bottom. Personally for me, I like to have this much higher. So I can just place this here and clip the sketchbook to the stand. This is obviously very tight. And it's not going to move. This is an A5 size panorama sketchbook. Again, um, you can place this at the bottom, but for me, I like to have it at the top. So that's easier for me to work with. I have one clip here. I can use a smaller clip here, like this. Again, extremely stable. Um, there are two reasons why this is very stable. Uh, of course, the rubber grip behind and below and this stand here it's kind of heavy because this part here this is actually metal the rest of the stand is hard plastic but this is metal so it's it has a heavier base which is nice and also when you are using your tablet on it you have this vertical because of the heavy base this is not going to like topple forwards Sorry, topple forward. 
This is, um, what is this? 7 by 10 inches. This fits perfectly, of course. This is A4 paper. Fits very nicely. And this is 9 by 12. Fits very nicely as well. You can probably use um, 10 by 14 inches as well because this backing here, this is quite big. The main reason why I have two stands is because sometimes when I'm drawing or painting, I want my reference photo to be by the side. Previously, when I only have that single stand, I would place my reference photo like this. It's difficult for me to see the photo from this angle, which is why I bought another stand. So now, it's so much easier for me to view the reference photo. And over the past few weeks that I've been using the stands, I realized just how versatile this stand is. So you can use this with your tablet. If you want to, you can also place your phone here. And you can place, you can basically use the stand to place whatever you want to place as long as it's a flat object. The only downside I can think of is, you see the rubber pieces here and on the back. Um, here in Singapore, the climate is very humid. So I'm not sure if the rubber pieces will be affected by humidity because some rubber, they may actually crack uh, when it's too humid for long periods of time. So far, um, this stand, it's a few weeks old. The other stand, it's a few months old. So far, so good. So hopefully they will last. I mean, the overall build quality, it seems really solid. My only concern is for the rubber pieces in this very humid climate. This is a stand I can recommend very easily. I will give this five out of five stars.